Hey everybody, it's me again, Fanboy X. I'm revisiting, oh, revisiting a cartoon from my high school days. Avengers, Earth's Mightiest Heroes. I haven't watched it in a while, so I'm going back and revisiting it. It's really good. Just finished season one. I forgot how epic the final battle in season uh, one is. Where they have to take Asgard back from Loki. It's really good. The series as a whole is really well done. They did a lot of cool things to the characters like Ultron there. Um, what I really want to talk about is the theme song. So, watch the theme song, then I'll point out why it's so genius. So the series overall is brilliant. Okay, so now it's time to talk about the brilliance with this theme song. It's the lyrics, them, not just the lyrics themselves, but the timing of those lyrics. Tormented and attacked. Lands on footage of the Hulk. Lost from when we wake. Lands on footage of Captain America. Because the world, as he knew it, is lost from when he woke. He's a man out of his own time. So nothing that he knows is there anymore. It's God. With no way to go back and lands on Thor, I want to add some context to this. The episode and actually the one that's playing right now that I'm showing you the theme song. Um, the Casket of Ancient Winters, which is about Malekith the Dark Elf getting his hands on the Asgardian artifact of the same name. At the end of the episode, Thor finds out that he's blocked out of Asgard, so he has no way to go back. And I'll explain this a little further. It was in the time period known as the Odin sleep when, Thor, when Thor's father Odin was sleeping to recharge his power. Um, Loki took the Odin force and used it to claim as the throne of Asgard. That's what leads to that final battle that I mentioned earlier in season one, which takes place over the course of the last three episodes of the th first season. And this has been building since the very beginning of season one of Avengers Mightiest Heroes. But I might cover that in another video. So that's why for Thor... 
no way to go back. And this should be obvious. Been standing on my own, but now I'm not alone. Tony Stark as he assembles the Avengers. We see in the very first episode of season one, which is simply called The Invincible Iron Man, or something to that effect. It focuses on Tony Stark later before going into a side plot with S.H.I.E.L.D. Focuses on Tony Stark and how he very much feels that he has to fight alone. You know, Pepper says he's alone out there by himself against the man who stole his tech. So that's why this fits for Iron Man. But that's why the theme song for Avengers Earth's Mightiest Heroes is so brilliant. Because the lyrics match the characters that they land upon. Uh, I like to think that that was the intention right from the start. Like a good music video. Um, in season two, the theme song has changed to the traditional comic book intro for the Avengers. And there came a day, unlike any other, when Earth's Mightiest Heroes found themselves united against a common threat. On that day, they became the Avengers. The Invincible Iron Man. The Captain America. The Hulk, strongest hero there is. And Thor, Prince of Thunder. So, giving off the four, the big four as they're known for the roster. But that's why, but there's a lot of things that made this show worthwhile. And I was fresh off Captain America, the first Avenger, when I started this. So, Captain America is the reason I started watching it. But the show, overall, is pure genius. I have both seasons. And each of them are great. Each one focuses on a different storyline. Season 1 focuses on several different storylines. Whereas, Season 2 mainly focused on... The focused on the scrolls and the Kree, and then the war between the scrolls and the Kree. Um, some other episodes in the, with some other episodes in there with the series finale focusing on the battle against Galactus. So that's what. So that's just some of my two cents on what makes it. Er Avengers of the Mighty Heroes are great. But like I said, I want the main focus to be on the theme song. That's what I really want the focus to be on with this video. It's just genius. Like I said, that's just my two cents. This is Fanboy X, and we're now.